Hello friends, I am Vikram from Easy On Technologies. Welcome to my project work series based on Spring Data JPA module. In previous video, I covered adding new inquiry and inquiry listing. In case you missed, please go back to my channel and watch those videos. Today, I will talk about adding follow up for the inquiry. And uh, before uh, going to the coding, I should talk about the source code I shared in this git repository. So this is my git repository page. Here I have added this inquiry application. You can go to this link and you can download the source code of this project. In case if you get some doubt or issues, please write down in the comment so that I will promptly respond to you. Now, let me uh, show you what we will be adding here. This is my inquiry listing page you can see and here I have added one link here which is to add a new follow up for this inquiry. So when you click on this add follow up button link, you will see a small pop up will enter the description of the uh, follow up or the follow up is nothing but a talk you have done with that part with that candidate who is interested in your courses. So whatever the talk you had with that guy, you just write down in this and save it so that this will be uh, your track. You can keep track of this all conversation, right? So this is a form. So for uh, every record we have done this link, we have added the link like this, right? So I'm going to start the code here. So this is my page. This is my inquiry listing page. This is my inquiry list page. I have already done this page here. I have done a small correction. I will show you. I have done a small formatting for the date. This is a date format. I have, uh, you know, recently done. I will show you how we have did. Uh, this is a small uh, code I'm using here. This is actually a theme leaf uh, script. I'm using this is a dates dot format. This is the data. This is actually my data and this is the format I mentioned here. So the data date of entry will be displayed in DD MMM YYYY, right? So this is small change I have done. One more change I have done. I'll show you and this is actually I have done here small change because I have added here link and this is actually the total number of follow up you have done for this inquiry right and uh, for this I am adding here this one we have added the data this time inside the TD so one span I added here this span is displaying the follow up count and I have added here link which is uh, actually working through on click event it is actually going to open one pop-up as I recently shown you so that pop-up form will be opened but for every call I'm sending the inquiry ID because you are going to uh, add the follow-up for specific inquiry ID the supplied inquiry ID so when you click on the record with every record will pass different ID so this is a dynamic Okay, so this open form is one JavaScript function. I will show you just a moment. Now, let me copy some script here and I'm sharing all these scripts with you uh, through the GitHub as, as we just talk. Here, I'm going to copy the small JavaScript code inside the script section. This is open form function, which is taking inquiry ID. This will call uh, some this will execute some JavaScript code and open the pop up form and I have one small JavaScript CSS uh, small this HTML CSS pop up I'm going to use here and let me copy that pop up below this div because it is actually not displayed initially it is actually hidden when you click on the button this will be appeared on the page right so this is my form I'll show you what I have done here this is a form having one action this is save follow-up will be called when you submit the form and then I have used your hidden field this hidden field is very important because 
when you submit the form you will fill up the uh, before submitting the form you will fill up the detail and the form has internal id and that id is nothing but a inquiry the follow up is associated with right so this hidden form will this hidden field will have the inquiry id here so we will when you click when you open this form we will bind the id through this javascript code okay i'll show you how it is done so this is my form it is ready one more thing uh, i'll show you this how this is binding so when you click on the follow up link add follow up link this script is called is taking one inquiry id and i have set this inquiry id in that form so to that hidden field actually here this is the field so on opening of the form it is getting the id in hidden field right now one more thing i need to copy here the css i'm going to use some css i'll just copy paste and you can refer the css from my git repository page okay so i copied these css which is actually preparing that form color and all everything is done here so this is done now i will show you this is my first page and now i'm going to list here you can go to this inquiry list uh, this uh, you can select the institute this is easy on tech and here we want to add this uh, follow-up for this inquiry for this first inquiry i'm adding the follow-up and i'll show you the internal id just a moment when i click on this what is the id of this inquiry i'll show you here in this area this is my form which is a pop-up form actually and this pop-up form has got this id 3 so this three is actually your inquiry id right so when you open this form somewhere in the last record seventh record this is rohit what is the inquiry id for this record i will show you that just a minute. not here just open the form then you will get the script here you will get the different id this is 13 so 13 is actually rohit got it so my form when the pop-up form is opened it is associated internally with the inquiry id okay now i will show you how to save the data so when you submit the form the request will be submitted to our uh, this page just a moment save follow-up so i'm going to add a method in my controller i want to save some time and uh, i'll copy that also simple code we uh, we are used to with this, this coding so inquiry controller i'm using in the same inquiry controller at the end of this i'm going to add here this save follow-up import this post mapping and then save follow-up is a method i'm adding here and what's wrong here okay oh i think we have already added this method so don't worry just remove this i have already placed this method here so this is a method we can use so this is a link we have mapped here this is a method will be called and we will receive from the form this inquiry id and the follow-up so these two values will receive from the page right so this is follow-up and the inquiry id and now it's time to save the data for that i'm going to use uh, my common service here i would like to add one method here i'm going to add a method here this is public void save follow up and this method will take the data here this is this is long query id and then a string whatever the uh, conversation detail entered from the form will be received here this will be a transactional so mark the transactional here it's a good habit now uh, i'm going to save the data through this follow-up repository right so we have 
uh, already injected the follow-up repository this will help me so this follow-up repository dot save method I'm going to use and I need to supply the object here just a minute this is my follow-up object I need to create this follow-up object and this is my follow-up object just create this object here I'm going to save this object before that I need to bind data so we can bind the detail so detail we have got from the user follow-up dot we need to bind the inquiry is it is associated with because this follow-up is linked with some inquiry so this is the inquiry I'm going to use but I cannot directly pass the ID only because this is taking the object so what I can do from the inquiry uh, repository I can get the reference it's a get reference method internally get one this will get the reference actually uh, sometime I have seen developer calling here get uh, find by ID so find by ID is not a good idea because it is going to fetch the data and I'm not going to fetch the data for inquiry I'm going to just fetch the reference just to link this uh, foreign key relation here right so this is actually for the foreign key relation done so I think it will work we have entered the detail we have entered the uh, we have linked with the uh, inquiry now let me show you what are the fields we need to enter here this is my table and here I can uh, show you this is follow up ID will be auto generated inquiry ID we are supplying date of entry we should pass here so this is required so this is follow up dot set date of entry so when the follow up is added so I'm going to add here new date this is done so we have added the date also now probably it will work we need to call this method from the controller so this is my controller here we can generate this call this is follow up this is my common service right common service dot save follow up so these two values supplied from the form I'm going to pass to the service method which will save the data and after save we will go to the inquiry listing right I hope this will work and now let let me test this refresh the page and this is uh, all set of inquiries for Institute 4 okay I'm going to add one follow-up for this so already there is one follow-up entry present for this particular record and I'm going to add one more here just add here this is testing follow up so this is testing one for example save this okay we are getting some error what's wrong here we'll correct this okay we need to mark the post method is not supported so don't worry so we have to add this post method just change this it's not a big deal I'm going to list this I'm going to enter the values again this is testing follow up one now save this okay this is saved here correctly but it is okay not redirecting properly what's wrong we have saved the page so redirection is actually not redirecting to this inquiry list what's wrong it should work actually this is a redirect anything wrong I'm doing here spelling mistake no redirect correct this is inquiry list it is going to the list page okay but we need to pass the ID here okay so we are not focused on that ID so without ID in fact it should display the data it should display at least like this then I can select this 
however the data is saved here properly you can check this the inquiry the follow-up is added here but the issue is redirection but the entry is done what I can do here it's wrong okay fine we got the issue actually we are dis we are redirecting to the controller call instead of uh, showing the data to the page directly so I copied from the you know previous page and that's what is creating the issue not here okay here here we need to do this we have copied from I think that method that's why it is creating the problem okay it will work again I will show you this is the page we can see and what one more in uh, follow-up I'm going to add here testing two. save this so I have added the follow-up I will show you that entry so we have got one more entry here it is three and we can see the data in the follow-up table so these are the details we have recently entered for inquiry 3 so who is inquiry 3 you can check from the table this inquiry 3 is actually this first inquiry and these are the details you can check you can trace out so that's not the problem so this is how we can add in fact you can add the uh, follow-up for this record last record Rohit add follow-up here just a moment this is uh, he will join on Monday so, so temporary uh, some sample data I'm entering here and uh, we can check for this we have got the follow-up entry one it's count actually total number of follow -up for this inquiry so we can see that data here in the table so this is a follow-up entry just we have done this so I think this is the way we can handle the follow-up entry so I hope you enjoyed this video in case if you have any query you can write in the comment so that I will reply you and uh, thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel for more updates bye bye